that's reset there. Does that plane hurt you sound or no? Uh, yeah, but we'll get it. Okay. What's your name? My name is Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock, La Roca, Uncle Handsome, Sexiest Man Alive. I have a lot of names. Asshole sometimes. What are you obsessed with right now? That's a good question. Right now, I am obsessed with building things with my own two hands. I'm obsessed with building brands and businesses. And I'm also obsessed with being a great father, and being a really great daddy to my babies and a great father to my three daughters. I am obsessed with that. Where do you feel at peace? I feel at peace when I'm somewhat isolated. And what I mean by that is my family is with me, of course, um, or sometimes they're not, but uh, I'm at peace when I'm really surrounded by nothing but Mother Nature and there's no one else around. That's when I feel at peace. What never fails to make you emotional? I could think about my babies and get emotional. I can think about my babies and hear uh, old traditional um, songs from, uh, from the islands, Samoan songs, Hawaiian songs. Uh, they'll get me emotional. Um, so yeah, there are a handful of things that will get me emotional. What piece of advice would you give to someone who's reckoning with a difficult past? Well, the piece of advice I would give to somebody who's reckoning with a difficult past is that it's exactly that. It is the past. And we've all been there. We all have challenges from our past. We have demons from our past, um, some bigger than others. Um, and the good news is, you have an opportunity to influence and direct your future. You have an opportunity to influence your right now. And while the past that you had gone through may be challenging and difficult, uh, maybe embarrassing, you can't hide from it, you can't erase it, you can learn from it, and you can help influence other people from it too as well. When in your life did you feel most abandoned? That's a tough one to answer. That's a real tough one to answer about, ab about abandonment. I think that's between me and a few of the other loved ones. What's the most important thing to remember when you're dealing with extreme pressure? I think the most important thing to remember when you're dealing with extreme pressure, uh, for me, is to stay calm and It's in the calmness uh, amidst the calamity that you're going through that you try to gain your clarity and gain your focus because it helps you make the decision. And I also found that I'm in a position these days where uh, in a highly stressful situation, um, there are a lot of people who look to me uh, and my reactions to something that will in turn inform how they respond and how they react to the stress uh, or the difficult scenario. So I try to keep those things in mind, try to remain calm and make the best decision possible. You got the good questions. You have the answers. Well, <laughs> I got something. Did you work out this morning? I did, I worked out. I had a good one today. How many meals a day do you eat? Well, I eat roughly five to six meals a day. Any habits you're trying to break?
I have a habit of stopping meetings and calling someone out if I think they're full of shit. Because I do feel that a lot of times in some of these business meetings you'll find uh, individuals who uh, are successful, but it's very interesting to me that they have become successful despite the fact that I think they're full of shit and they know they, well, they're full of shit. So I'm trying to break that habit because uh, it tends to send the meeting uh, sideways. <laughs> what is The Rock afraid of? The Rock is afraid of absolutely everything. <laughs> What does it mean to be a man? Well, I think, I think what it means to be a man is to be accountable, is to be accountable and stand up to the mistakes you've made. It's okay to fuck up. It happens to all of us. Um, and be open, rip yourself open, be vulnerable. I've, all, I've been there, we've all been there. Um, you know, the benefit of doing something like that is on the other side of that usually is some sort of uh, progress and how important that is. Uh, it's also, in my opinion, uh, a quality of being a man is doing what you say you're gonna do and taking matters into your own hands sometimes, but if you look somebody in the eye, you shake their hand, you give them a hug, or you give them your word, uh, it's important to do it or do your best to see it through. When in your life did you feel least comfortable in your own skin? I felt least comfortable in my own skin on two occasions. When I first started as a professional wrestler, I was told back then that you can't smile enough, you gotta be happy every time you go out there. You have to uh, be so joyous at the opportunity that you have. I wasn't reacting authentically and I was being a very uh, buttoned down, saccharine version of who I actually was at that time in the world of professional wrestling. The other time that um, that happened to me was when I made the transition to Hollywood. And at that time, a few years into my Hollywood career, approximately the mid-2000s, uh, I was told then that I had to lose weight, um, I had to change my eating habits, diet, uh, couldn't go to the gym as much, I really had to slim down. Um, I had to not reference the name The Rock, I had to do uh, as best I could not mention or reference the world I came from, that I was proud to come from, the world of professional wrestling. So at that time, when there is no blueprint for somebody who looked like me, walked, talked, walked like me, so at that time, uh, when there was no blueprint for somebody like me, half black, half Samoan, I look how I look, I talk how I look. I'm sorry, let me do that again. You can't be big, you can't go to the gym, you can't call yourself The Rock. Let's not talk about pro wrestling. Well. You buy into that shit, as I did, uh, until one of two things is gonna happen. Um, you're either gonna continue to go down that road and that path and you're gonna be miserable, and eventually your career is probably gonna fizzle out and you're not gonna have any sense of longevity or quality to it. Or the other thing that's gonna happen, you're gonna say, fuck this shit. Uh, I'm gonna be me and um, we're gonna see what happens. And I think in that authenticity moment, that moment of clarity, um, a funny thing happened in the world of professional wrestling and a funny thing happened in the world of Hollywood. Uh, both industries conformed to my authenticity and um, allowed me to be me. And that's when things changed. Feeling good? I should, yeah, I'm feeling great. I should have asked you earlier, can I cuss in this thing? Oh yeah. You, okay, cool. Cause you're about to get a lot of motherfuckers right now. <laughs> Watch this. Here they come. When in your life did you realize you'd made it? Uh, 
Um, well, there was a moment where I first started my pro wrestling career, and of course, when you wrestle and you and you go to the venue, whether it's at a flea market or whether at, it's at an arena, uh, everyone knows you there. So the adulation is strong. Um, I had landed in some uh, Midwest city, had to drive to another city, and I was driving through a small town. I stopped at a gas station and uh, I got some gas and got some other things. And the person behind the counter said, um, are you the rock? And it threw me because no one had ever recognized me outside of the world of pro wrestling outside of the arenas. So I said, yeah, <laughs> I am The Rock. Um, and I was like offering autographs. You want a picture? Do you want, like, you know, I was that. I was so excited and I was so happy that I thought, man, I think I made it as a pro wrestler. This person behind this counter at this cash register just asked me if I was The Rock. What's the best thing about being famous? Hands down, without a shadow of a doubt, the best thing about being famous is making people happy. What's the worst thing about being famous? Uh, you'll never hear me complain about fame. I know what the alternative is um, to not being famous. Uh, but no, fame is a blessing. So there is no worse thing about being famous. Do you ever get the chance to forget you're a celebrity? Not really, no. Uh, you know, I, I'm just, I am, I'm the size of a dinosaur. I'm as, I'm as old as a dinosaur. And so I, it's not like I can put on a hat or glasses or hide or anything like that. Um, so, I'm, you know, the, the thought of anonymity and forgetting I am a celebrity, is that's gone out the window many, many years ago. But every once in a while, uh, it's nice when I can isolate myself either on my farm or certain places um, in the islands where I don't see anyone and don't interact with anybody except my family. Those are nice times where you know, you're not reminded as often. But again, not a problem. Not a problem. I'm not complaining. What keeps you up at night? Well, that's a good one. What keeps me up at night is everything. Honestly, it's everything. It's, it's how it's all going to shake out the next day. Uh, how my babies are going to be business, relationships, you know, we're always thinking and planning and working uh, on the now and the tomorrow. So it all keeps me up at night, which is why, um, which is why I love putting my babies to sleep. I put my wife to sleep and um, I'll pour myself a drink and I'll just sit quietly and enjoy the drink and I'll think about how it's all going to shake out. If people could remember one thing about you, what would you want it to be? If people could remember uh, one thing about me, it would be, <clears throat> it would be whatever I loved and whoever I loved, I loved with great fiery passion. And um, if people could remember something else about me, it would be that, um, that I took care of things that needed to be taken care of and I took matters into my own hands and I operated um, with the understanding that you gotta take action to take care of the things that need to be taken care of. When in your career did you feel most vulnerable? In my career, I felt most vulnerable when um, I wasn't able to be myself. 
my true self, my authentic self. We hear that all the time, how important it is. Be yourself, it's the most powerful thing you could be. And that's true. And it, and it is the most powerful thing we can be. And when we're not um, being ourselves, we really bump up against that emotionally. And that's when vulnerability can creep in. And so for me, I was most vulnerable in my career um, in pro wrestling when I wasn't able to be myself until I was. And in the world of Hollywood, when I was told, you know, in order to achieve a certain status, um, you gotta act like this, walk like this, talk like this, lose weight, etc., etc. And you buy into it, and I was vulnerable at that time. Uh, and I take responsibility for it, of course, because I was the one who made the final decisions on those things. Um, so I wasn't able to be myself until I was. And then the vulnerability went away. That's it? Yes, sir. Did you, you got all the questions in? We got it. Every single one? Every single one. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. You happy? Very. Are you? Greatly. I love this, man. Thank you so much. What wonderful questions you asked.